I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And the death penalty is our topic of discussion today. Welcome to Men Are So Smart. Nice to have you here. This is the show that's done for men, done by men, that women seem to love. Don't understand it, but they do. Now, a lot of times we tackle the issues that are lighthearted and some of the stories maybe that you haven't heard about, but today we've decided to focus on this particular story, which is about Virginia, the state, executing a man for killing a guard and a deputy in 2006. Uh, the state of Virginia executed a man just this last Thursday, convicted of the 2006 killings of a security guard and a sheriff's deputy, despite claims that he was mentally ill and questions over whether the execution drugs would work as planned. William Morva, 35, was pronounced dead at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Virginia Department of Corrections. Spokesperson Lisa Kinney said, Morva declined to make a final statement. She said uh, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe refused to block the execution earlier on Thursday, saying that examinations by prison doctors since Morva's 2008 conviction had shown no sign that he suffered from severe mental illness or delusional disorder, an ailment akin to schizophrenia. Morva's death sentence for killing an unarmed security guard and a sheriff's deputy had triggered renewed debate about capital punishment. The record before me does not contain sufficient evidence to warrant the extraordinary step of overturning the decision of a lawfully impaneled jury following a properly conducted trial, uh, the judge said. A review of the autopsy uh, of Ricky Gray, a Virginia in inmate executed in January, showed fluid in his lungs and blood on his lips suggesting the drugs had not stopped his heart quickly as intended, the newspaper said. <clears throat> a spokesperson did not respond with a request or a comment. More than 34,000 people, along with UN human rights experts and the daughter of slain deputy, had asked McAuliffe to spare Morva's life. That's kind of a, a different twist. Morva held dual U.S.-Hungarian citizenship and European Union and the Hungarian Embassy in Washington had called on McAuliffe for clemency. More of his deadly rampage took place after he was taken to a hospital while being held in the Montgomery County Jail on robbery charges. He stole a gun at the hospital and shot the security guard. Morva shot the deputy sheriff during a search for him the next day. In February, the U.S. Supreme Court declined to take up the case. More of his execution was the 13th in the United States this year and the 113th in Virginia since the Supreme Court allowed the resumption of the death penalty in 1976. That number places Virginia second among states on the U.S. execution list behind only Texas, which has 542. Okay, so we've got the best person to talk to about this. We turn to Officer Ron and a man who's had a career, police career for 30 years. Yeah. All right. Where do you stand on capital punishment, the death penalty? You know what? Uh, right now, California voted for it. Mm -hmm. It overwhelmingly passed in the last election. And in fact, not only the death penalty, but speeding up the appeal process after the death penalty is found. And you know what? California is refusing to follow the voter requests. So there have been, since we voted, there have been no executions. Uh, personally, I think that if you've got, if you've killed somebody and basically caught with a smoking gun, that's, it's a no brainer. Uh, go ahead and execute them. Uh, it costs a lot of money to keep somebody in prison for their entire life. And I totally get that it costs quite a bit of money to execute somebody. And then the, uh, the appeals process that follows is also very expensive, but why, why worry about that? You know what? We're going to spend money in the United States anyway. Uh, free up a cell, make room for the next killer. Okay, so there's a couple of schools of thought on this, Ronnie. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Mm -hmm. That's not as black and white as it might sound. There are other factors that contribute to this. For instance, mental health. And I think that that excuse has, pardon the pun, 
been done to death. Yeah, it's... Every lawyer that's ever gone to law school has tried to use <clears throat> that defense. <clears throat> well, in reality, if you didn't have some type of mental health issue, would you ever really go out and purposely kill somebody? Uh, I, I just can't imagine you wanting to do that without, you know, some crazy extenuating circumstances. Somebody that just goes out and, oh, here's a security guard and I want to get out, I'm going to kill this guy, and then the following day... Oh, this deputy's looking for me. Fair game. I'm going to kill him too. I got nothing to lose. Yeah. There's no mental illness there. That is premeditated and thought out. Okay. So another thought. It is not... It's not an exact science, this administrating the drugs in the final minutes. Um, As witnessed by this story where there was water in the lungs and blood on the lips. Okay. So... Didn't they, in many cases, uh, have a, their victims suffer needlessly? Right. And were concerned about the murderer? Right. Now that's you're focusing on the wrong part of the story. There, uh, people who get, you know, shot in the heart, they realize they're dying, and it takes a couple minutes to bleed out, and it's painful, uh, and it's. Certainly not, uh, it's not going to be at the top of your, you know, your bucket list. So, yeah, I don't think that, I mean, outside of a firing squad, uh, there is not really a, a completely sanitary way to kill somebody. It's, it's dirty work, for sure. Well, I'm not sure we're going to be able to solve this. The state of the California um, is obviously not doing what the voters wish. Right. And that's been the, the case for many, many years. Yeah, um, that's more the norm than the other way around. But we're not going to go down that road. No. Uh, in stories like this, if you read them on Yahoo and you go down to the comments and read below, one of the things that uh, people always seem to say is, why don't we just string them up in the middle of the street and show people that this is what happens when you kill someone? You know, and then my idea, uh, which has not taken off, is... Put it on pay-per-view, and then the money that's generated can go to the victim's family. Oh, that's not a bad idea. You know, uh, because there are enough morbid people out there that would want to watch an execution uh, that would probably turn into a pretty tidy sum for the, the victim's family. Well, I think you might get to see round one, but I don't think there'd be a round two. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, capital punishment is not really a laughing matter, per se, but uh, we're taking a lighthearted look at it today, if there is such a thing. And um, where do I stand? Eye for an eye. Seems fair. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. This has been another edition of Men Are So Smart. Be sure and click right above my shoulder, right here, to our subscribe button. And join us so that you get notifications each time a new show comes out. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.